Hello everyone. How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's doing well, physically and mentally. But it's Ramos and we're back. And uh, today, I wanna talk about just being in nature and continue to be at one with yourself. So, how I found to be at one with myself and to get better at being in nature was definitely about being outside way more and being, you know, having your feet on the grass. They call it grounding. They call it, well, I don't know why I'm putting emphasis on it, but it's grounding. It's a, it's a thing that allows you to be at one with the earth and one with yourself in a certain way, as well as meditating helps. But I noticed by this grounding technique and really grounding myself and meditating and stuff, animals really don't mess with me when I come outside. Like before I was being within with myself, animals used to mess with me. Like if a fly would come around me, I would like trip out or if it get around me, I would trip out. And they would attack me more often, but I notice as more I go outside and the more I meditate, the more I ground, the more I just become within myself. I become at one with, you know what I'm saying, or what's around me, especially outside. Like, remember one time there was like a, a lizard that, you know, lizards, when you get too close to them, they normally run away. This lizard kind of ran away, but he came back and was just chilling with me. I'm like, what the heck? And this is when I started my journey of being a better, you know, person and being with one with myself and i'm like wow that's that's kind of cool and i also noticed like bees and flies around me would buzz around me but they would used to always come in my ear and come like close to me and like come to the point where like they're almost on me and like bothering me to a sense but now they just be in my vicinity and don't bother me if they come around me they buzz around me for a little minute and they leave me alone they don't really like attack me or nothing and i realized like dang once you just like within with yourself, you really be in tune with nature and in tune with everything. And like, they, nature really rock with you. Nature, they really leave you alone unless you rock once you're in tune and what you're with one, with nature. And I'm like, dang, that's crazy. Cause bro, I used to be scared of bees. I, every time I used to be see a bee when I was younger, I was to scream. You know, and, and, and my uh, cousin could vouch for me, bro. He could vouch. Cause he used to do the same thing too. So like, but now I see bee, I really don't trip. Now I see b plants, bugs, like I'm more intrigued about them and more cool about them. Like that lizard, I named him Chad. Like that's my boy. Like we really just be was kicking it. Like he was kicking it with me for like an hour, two hours at the park, just kicking it with me. I'm like, dang, this is really my boy. So it's just like, man, once you really in tune with yourself and in tune with everything, the nature, everything be in tune with you and they will know you're in tune. You know, they will know you in tune and they don't know how you coming and how you rocking. Man, what the heck? This fool got a dirt bike. But anyways, though, you guys, then real, what I want to talk about in this video is just being at one with yourself and continue to go on your journey and continue to be at one with yourself. And the help is nature, like I said. So if you're on your spiritual journey, try going into nature more often. Try grounding, putting your feet on the ground. Try, you know, if you are scared of bugs like I was myself, try to, you know, when a, when a certain insect or something flies around you, try not to be too scared, you know? Try not to be too afraid of that and accept it. That's all it is in this life. Once you accept things, the good, the bad, the ugly, you can really move forward and flow. Because once you start not accepting things, you only accept the good, then you see more of the bad because now you're worried about stuff going bad. And that's a problem. Because if you're more uh, worried about stuff going bad, but you want stuff to go good, you're gonna see more bad than good. Or bad is, well, when you see bad happening, you're gonna see it as bad when really anything that's bad, you could turn good. Damn. I'm a fast. Oh my god. Let me hop on it looking. But yeah, y'all. Really just getting in tune with yourself, being at one with yourself. Continue to grow spiritually, mentally, physically. Continue to work out. Continue to say yourself affirmations. And continue to grow, man. Yeah. Nothing. ain't too far-fetched nothing really ain't too far-fetched but you really just think about it you could do anything you want to do 
No, no, like, oh, it's crazy. No, you really can once you just allow yourself to just accept everything. You just accept everything that comes with life because that's what you're supposed to do. That's, I feel like I, I wish everyone, someone would have told me that, but I had to learn that for myself. But once you accept things that come with life, life is just easier. You just accept everything and things will work in your favor. Because you can't have the good without the bad and you can't have the bad without the good. So it is what it is that coexist. And so like, especially from school, I used to always think, oh my gosh, I gotta be good. Like I can't, like, what if this goes wrong? What if this goes wrong? What if this goes wrong? Like, okay, let it go wrong. Let it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't it be tripping? Well, well, what is it a trip? About? What is it a trip about? What is it a trip about? If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. It's okay. Shoot, make it go. And if it goes wrong, how can you, you know what I'm saying, make that situation go right, go better than what it was in that situation? Because you are in control of it. If you overreact over a situation, and you, you're just going to make it worse. It's just like when, say, if you flooding in a car or something. Say you drive your car into a lake and you're trying to get out. If you start panicking and tweaking, your survival of getting out of that is so less. But if you chill out, figure out, okay, break the window, boom, and you're calm about it, you'll get out. You'll get out, you'll make it out, just like any situation. You have to be calm about things because when you start to panic, you can't do anything. That's why they say when you get into like a... a any situation that's like, oh, almost a plane crash. Or they say like on the plane, like if a situation happens, stay calm, don't panic. That's why people say that. Because when you start panicking, you start fucking up. It's just like in basketball or in a sport. Once you're too nervous doing something, you start messing up, right? Your nerves get the best of you. Like for me, for instance, when I was getting my license, bro, I was so nervous. I failed twice. I almost failed three fucking times, bro. Real shit. The first time I failed because I was too nervous. The second time I failed because I was overly nervous, bro. The first time I failed, bro, I made a right turn into the wrong lane. I mean, I left turn into the wrong lane because I was so nervous. So just like, you got to just stay calm and stay patient in every situation and calm your nerves. And the one thing I learned that helped me calm my nerves was meditating. Meditating helped calm my nerves. That's what help calm me down. Like when I, when I get nervous or something for like an event or something I got to do or just anything, I start to meditate. And I'm like, okay, I got this. And it calms me down. Or if I'm just nervous about anything, I just meditate. Or breath work just. It just calms me down. It just makes me a better person, you know? But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all I got to say for today. It was a little quick one today, about an eight minute video today. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching me and I appreciate all 690 of you guys. We are growing at a great pace, at a great speed. And I thank you guys, for real, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys. Let's continue to be better people. Let's continue to grow. Love y'all. Peace.